Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how you set up a default 404 error page in ASP.NET 6. It's actually pretty simple to do. Uh, the only thing we need to do is to add one line of code in the program.cs file and then we need to set up the actual template for the 404 page. So let's get started. So now I just set up a new web app project with .NET 6 and inside our program.cs file we will add some new lines under this use static files and then we will type app and we will say use status code pages with redirects and this will take a parameter which will be the path to our 404 default page and we will call it slash errors and slash and this curly brace and a zero. So now if we get returned a status code of 404, it will just put it inside here instead. So the next thing to do is to go to the pages section and let's make a new folder. And we will call it errors. And inside this errors folder, we want to add a new razor page and just an empty one and we will call it 404 and say add so this page will just act as our default 404 page where we get redirected to when we get the 404 status code and to speed up things a little bit and make it a bit easier you can just go to my website i will link it below in the comment and you can go to this how to create a default 404 error page in ASP.NET 6 where I got the code for the actual template. So let's copy and paste this and put it into our template and just put it inside below here because we want to edit this one, the project name. It should not be website, it should be the solution name we have. So we will just remove this. And now it should be working just fine. So if we try to hit run, then we will come to our default ASP.NET Core front page. And if we just type a URL that does not exist, we will now get this 404 page not found template. And of course you also want to, if you just copy and paste this, then remember to add your own uh, website down here. But you can feel free to do anything you want inside this template. You can also add an image. Some websites have a you know a fun image of something. But of course, the good thing with a 404 default page is that you still have the menu from the actual website, so you do not get stuck on the browser's default 404 page. But thank you for watching, and please subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And to learn more about ASP.NET you can go and watch some of my other videos. But have a nice day, and I hope to see you again. Bye.